money off of it. You put a lot of money back into this county. Um, what would also be offered on that is uh, a county, whatever logo you guys have as far as the water department, would go on to the turf field for at least the 10 year span. When they replace that, as long as you guys are still in the partnership, it would go back down. So not only would it give them a sense of ownership, it would show that you guys were in part with this too. So, any questions? Oh, I got a couple. All right, I'll, I'll try to answer. Why not, why not go to the electric company? I've tried water? that, actually. I, I did. Because they, everybody has to have electricity. I, I know. Everybody I, doesn't have water. I know. I did try that. Uh, and that's not completely out the window. Um, they've tried to get us in front of their board. There is a little bit of an issue, they said, right now they do have a donation option for their customers already and they do that to help people that can't pay for their bill and they don't know that they could put a second one on that so they're discussing what they could do um, but they don't know what they could do because they don't want to get rid of that donation and I completely understand that of course you realize we have our own city school right and you talk about money going to your education we still got to keep up our education correct part of it too uh, now that's something we've had to discuss with the actual county, you know, board. I'm not going to sit here and, and, and talk on their behalf and what they would partner with. Um, but I, I propose that it is a full county <coughs> thing. You know, not just, you know, this is a fund that if something needs to be done at Rogerville Middle, it could, it could be done. Well, they already play some of their sports at Cherry Hill. So that's why it's partially already included wow. in there. Like I said, I, I would, I'm 100% full Hawkins County, not Hawkins County, Rogersville, Churchill, you know, all that. I'm not, I'm not preaching for that. We're preaching for a full countywide, if something needs to be done, a fund could help. But I can't talk for what the school board would approve. I can't do that. And Jim, you well, got to remember city school City school uses there. the yeah, field. They already they use the field. Yeah. If they can, if it's raining, Cody may not let them play that yeah. night. But you know what? If it's raining, well, if it's raining doesn't matter. Turf. turf field holds 20 inches of water an hour. So, what does the turf field cost? Okay, uh, well, I'll go ahead and tell you. We we got the bid for both fields. This is just from one company. We went ahead and got a bid. We broke it down. Um, Cherokee Field is a little bit bigger. It's everything inside the track is a little over 1.5. Now we've dollar. Yes, 1.5. <laughs> uh, I think it's 1.5. Six. Uh, we we put in when I prepared. It, I put a budget of 1.7 million because you know stuff's going to happen when you're when you're doing things like that. Um, I told them I wouldn't go bungee jumping without a safety net, and I wouldn't expect them to go you know, jump into a project without a little bit of extra if something came up. So we did propose to them at 1.7. Again, I really believe that's for both fields. That's for both fields. Yes, it's seven. It's seven something roughly a piece. Uh, like I said, Cherokees is a little bit bigger. I don't know. And this is that's everything inside the track. If you did just the fields, just the just the playing surface fields, you know you got the half circles. If you left those grass and you did just it's 1.25. So it is you know about three hundred thousand dollars cheap. Two fields. Two Have you fields. talked to yeah. Lakeview or Suburnsville or any other um, utilities about possibly doing this? I, I, like I said, first utility is one hundred percent on. Well, I've talked. I, I know Jerry. I have to Jerry I've about it. started at the top kind of work as far as the size. Um, I've sent out some, some things to uh, try to get in touch with them. We just had a little bit of a, an in here, you know. I, I just asked. Oh, we, oh, we are absolutely, we want we want all the water companies. If we get all the water companies, and I'm gonna go ahead and tell you up front, if all the water companies were to get on board and half of the people would donate an average of $2, it's gonna push $2 million over 10 years. So not only does it pay for the field, it already has the money to replace the field and then some. Because we also already have some other donors that, you know, we have one and I don't want to say who they are necessarily, but it's over $100,000 that they're donating and their logo is going to be on the 25-yard line. So this company will be will be paid, the, the turf company would be paid over 10 years? Uh, so where's the money going to come from up front? <laughs> well, that is again. I don't. I don't know who I can talk in terms for. There is some money somewhere that can be used. Whether or not I can get those people to use that, I don't know. Uh, okay. That's a problem. Um, there is enough money to pay for it up front. 
Now, there's options to do them in successive years where you do one field one year, one field the next year, and you only pay for the field that's built, and then the next year you pay for the next one that's built. So there's there's some different ways to look at it. Um, you know, they talked about doing, you know, taking out a bond, the county, the, you know, the school board, they talked about, you know, they could take out a bond and pay for it that way. But there is some money there that can pay for it up front, but it would be a matter of getting them to front the money. Uh, I understand, did Knoxville get theirs done by pilot? pilot. Yes. Yeah. I did contact well, pilot, actually. Pilot. Uh, <laughs> I, I actually did contact yeah. pilot, and uh, they don't do enough business in our area to build a warrant to, to, to support it. <laughs> uh, we, I mean, we still, we're still reaching out to a lot of people. We've reached out to BAE, we're listening for them. We've reached out to Eastman. Uh, there's a couple other places that you know, we have one doing a pretty big study right now to see if they're going to put money in. Uh, again, we were really trying to get this done and started June 1st because they could have got the field done. That's probably not going to happen at this point. Okay, uh, So you've got some time to discuss it and, and, and things like that. But it yeah. We need to discuss it because oh, we don't know exactly how it's going to if we do it, as it's going to take the girls in the office. And oh, right. Yeah, I mean, it, would, it would take some organization for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I, and that's a good thing. We probably have some time, and I'm not trying to rush you into this now. <laughs> Anybody else have any questions? We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Well, thank, thank you. you for coming. Thank you. Can I, can I have a copy? This would have to be an ordinance, by the way, if you wanted to do it. Uh, thank you. Make it three readings. Uh, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll, just, I'll just wait for somebody to direct me. I think you also need to get let the city school know what's going on. Oh, yeah. That's what I said. We need to talk about it. Yeah. <clears throat> just some things. But uh, if you do this for one thing, it's what's going to keep us? Somebody else saying, well, we want to add another thing to it. If you want to do another thing, once you start it, you're going to have a, you could potentially have some things. Donations on your bill bigger right. than your bill. There you go. <laughs> Well, as long as you leave them not to yeah. take it or not take it, I mean, yeah. you're not, yeah. you're not forcing it. Yeah. That's true. But I, we, it's a lot of discussion to, to get to that point. Well, anybody else have anything else? Thank you for coming. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. I'm ready for a non agenda item. <laughs> no. Nothing else. I'll make a motion to adjourn. There you go. Second. Moved and second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, Those are composed. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, can I let you stand at the water commission? The water mayor all the is coming up. Okay. Hey, I'll stand up. Hey, Steve. What time you got? What time you got? Eight, eight minutes. minutes. Okay. I'm just gonna decide whether or not to stop and start again or just keep it going. I had to stop in the middle of it. It pooped out on me. I can't use the Wi-Fi here. Doesn't is it strong enough? I have to take it off Wi-Fi and use data, which I have unlimited data. But in the middle of his spiel, it froze, so I had to stop, restart. So I don't know how much I got. <laughs> if you're watching at home, that's what happened. My recording froze. <laughs> Nobody's going to complain about it. Oh, it's optional. You don't have to do it. Yeah, well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you can, if you can take it off, if you can put it on and take it off, whatever you want. Discussion. <laughs> yeah. People, people miss sixty dollars a year, or at least they think they do. That's uh, three cases of beer. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, thank you. I know, I know. Everybody did. Hey, you helped Yeah. This is a great one. Did that do this right? Yeah. He has, uh, this, this last week he had a bad week because my husband was coming up. But uh, trying to keep him busy. I mean, doing things like I wouldn't have thought about doing before. Like, I got a doctor appointment tomorrow, so they want to have more than that. You know, he's playing golf now. Uh, play cards Thursday night. Yeah, he's, he's, he's doing okay. He's, he's mad at her right now because she didn't take care of herself the way she did. But in a lot of ways, he's really guilty. Because 
If you're watching at home, though, that was the Water Commission meeting a minute ago, and now at 7, they're going to start the regular Board of Merit Armor meeting, so that's what we're waiting for right now. But she had that time of life. You really shouldn't be buying a car at 90 years old. Yeah. So the week, yeah, the week after, the week after she died, he went to the Pacific. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, if he can give up some piece of paper, because I mean, he's dealt with me every other day. Well, that's why he's not And then they come around We really don't care if you don't get your job. I get you a Yeah. 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 Yeah.
sir, just keep an eye on it. Well, I got all four of them. It's hard. It's hard sometimes to get the stuff like this. In you go. Yeah, we got to count that. Yeah, we got this is called on its own Doug. Doug had some back here. Thank you, sir. Now, you ought to have the water sitting next to it. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, 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 you know, water, little, little snack. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. 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 Yeah.
and our concern with the crowds that we were having 20 30 35,000 people at those events if they were buying fireworks and bringing them into the park it, it, it posed a great danger to all of the people down there at the celebration plus if they went up on fireworks hill before we started clearing it out and all uh, there was a an issue with bob you know with the smith's fireworks show being up there so that's how how that came about um, and um, the thing the only thing i would say is if you consider doing this is possibly consider putting in that ordinance as well that fireworks can't be sold within a maybe a hundred yards of the perimeter of the park to try and cut down on that <coughs> granted somebody can go right over here on 66 buy them bring them right into the park but this cuts down a little bit on the chance that'd be that'd be that was the only reason we had that drawn up a bill back those many years ago it's not quite been 20. Well, it, no, when think. we first started oh, allowing first start, okay. fireworks, it was, but yeah, that, it's this, 15 since we prohibited it on independent. Okay, okay. It's, yeah, that's been a long time. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I was on the committee with Doc as far as, you know, getting this put in place. And we realized that it was, uh, you know, a crimp in the plans of the people who were wanting to sell fireworks. And I'm not sure who wants to reauthorize it for, for that day. Um, but we have we had a like Doc said a huge safety concern, uh, you know. And we went back and forth about just banning it here, just banning you know banning the whole city. But uh, we had one, at least one event where we had some really serious fireworks issues. Had a couple of instances in inside the <clears throat> the viewing area for for the Fourth of July uh, festivities. It, it just it scares you to death if you're if you're involved in it and, and you're responsible for it. But uh, I'm kind of like Doc. If we if we're going to do something like this, I, I would I would ban it in in within a certain distance from the park as far as that goes on that day. Uh, it just to me it, it's a, it's a huge it's a huge danger. It's it's a huge liability risk things like that and, and you know somebody gets hurt they're gonna, they're, we're going to be wishing we had made it but you, you never know like Doc said where the fireworks come from but it prevents somebody if people are going to park their cars as far away as, as people normally do for this event and they walk to the event I don't think they're going to want to necessarily carry their fireworks that far but if they walk past you know, a real close tent as they're walking past, they they may have, they may be, may be more inclined to, to buy the fireworks. Uh, what, do, what's our, uh, do we charge for a permit for fireworks? How much? Uh, it's I the same it's as a vendor permit. Yeah, vendor permit. Because yeah. I know the county is going to, uh, what, $1,000, I think, for their permit. Mount Carmel, uh, I'm sorry, Churchill's getting ready to do the same thing. Uh, we, I, I don't know how much, you know, we, if we even need to look at a change in the permit cost, but uh, those are just a couple examples of, of what it's going to. It's not going for any of those. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. No, it's not going to prevent it from happening. You're not yeah, going to prevent uh, it from happening if if you don't even sell them in the town of Rogersville yeah. that day. If they want to bring them, like, they're going to bring them. Do you ask day. them, do you tell them when they come in the park, no fireworks? Yeah, well, we had big signs made. I don't know if they still well, use the signs or not, but we had signs But, but it doesn't matter. I mean, <coughs> there's so many entrances to the park. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I'm president of Tennessee Fireworks Association. Our average fee across the state is about $300 for a local permit. We pay a state permit fee, uh, whether it's a seasonal or a, <clears throat> a year round, there's two different fees the state has. And then everybody has a, a, a local government uh, fee and the average is about $300 statewide. 
still be up and down in different places. Uh, to be honest, y'all have had one of the lowest fees mm -hmm. uh, that all the counties that I deal with has so, and, and cities. So. Yeah. So, so would that, any fee we have need to be specified? Yes, we'll have, to, we'll have to amend. Yeah. Oh, we got if you want to change the fee structure. <coughs> but but that can be I done. I mean, you can amend it to do it on first reading. Yeah. I think most most people, most vendors, uh, a three hundred dollar fee is going to be if, if they pay that. That really the the reason that most of them, if I've suggested, have gone with uh, three hundred dollars. It keeps guys that we used to have a big issue with people putting them in the trunk of the car, pulling up in the parking lot. And just selling them out of the trunk of the car, mm -hmm. at, and at flea markets and other places. So you got specific guidelines. The state fire marshal has specific yeah. things we have to do. I, I may be wrong, but it seems to me like the last couple of years, fireworks sales in the town of Rogersville have been limited to the to the bigger organizations like Wild Wilma's and. Well, they're, that, I work with them. They're not one of the big ones. Let me tell you. Okay. Yeah. But it's big for here. Yeah. As opposed to, I'm saying, as opposed to a local civic organization or a local yeah. church. Uh, well, we uh, we 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 provide the town. We have churches that operate for us, and um, you know they get a percentage of the sales. But we provide the tent, the liability, uh, insurance all the safety things that the state fire marshal requires and any local ordinance that has to be uh, looked at. So as far as like setbacks and things like that, we have all that in place, try to. And we want to work with you. Uh, and I might add, if you don't care, uh, the July 4th day is around 50% of our sales for that short period of time. So when we don't have that day, it really stretches us to be profitable, especially if we have a day or two that has rain in it. It's just, it's a real stretch for us to make a profit if we don't have that day to sell. And you're with? Uh, my name's Robin Horner, and I'm actually the owner of the tents that go in. I used to be with Wild Wilma's, we sold it. Okay. We sold it to another organization, and we kept the tent operation. Uh, we sold it, and we operate actually 15 locations throughout the Carter, Sullivan and uh, Hawkins County. Yeah. And when you set up here, where do you set up? We set up in uh, Big Lots parking lot in the entrance over here at 66 to uh, Walmart. And we are, yeah, we are local. I live in Blumville, so we're we're local business. Okay. Any other questions? Yeah, let's take three readings. It will, and 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 if you're going to amend it, we need to do that right now. I mean, if you're going to add a, a a larger fee other than just our normal vendor fee, and if we need to do it, and, I, and then we, if you want to adopt it on first reading, you can. But but we need to add that if that's the wishes of the <coughs> board. I'm sorry. What's the fee now? I I'm going to say about fifty dollars. Lynn, you're the one. Fifty dollars. It's around fifty dollars. Yeah, it's, it's not much. Yeah. 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 It's not. I think it's right at fifty. Oh, about that. Ask I would make a motion to amend it to set the fee at three hundred dollars. So what's the time? Well, I mean, we do one reading now. You can do two readings next month if you need to. No, I'm talking about. The time. Oh, what when time? you can fire? Yes. Right in this proposed ordinance, it's uh, from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. And the state permit is on is specific to June 20th through July 5th. And and those those are that's state law on that. That's so if you were to follow, that's where most municipalities and counties follow the state law. That's almost nationwide the same time frame and we don't have an annual permit we just have a seasonal uh, annual permit you can you have to have a brick and mortar and, and uh, I'm sorry a building and uh, be year-round 
Well, there's one thing about it, they can't fire them if you don't sell them. So. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Okay, so you amended it. I made a motion to amend, amend this to include a paragraph that sets the fee for a fireworks uh, permit. permit to three hundred dollars. Okay, and I got just a just a clarification question. Sometimes the park fireworks run late because of whatever yeah. showers, whatever may happen. Yeah. Is the 10 o'clock, does that govern that fireworks show too? I don't, I don't too? think it governs we never, that. We never fired them before 10. No. That's what I'm, that's why I'm asking, Brian. No, that's no, why that's, I'm asking. That's a, that's a governmental function. This is so it doesn't apply, that right. 8 to 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. doesn't apply to that. No, okay, no. I'm just making sure. No, no. I understood right, sorry. Okay, do I have a second to your amendment? So we, so you're basically we're going to change it to where they can shoot them, sell them on the Fourth of July. That's and, what this ordinance says. And shoot them from eight to ten. Right. And, and then he's making he's making motion three hundred dollars fee. Okay. You second that? Y'all second. Okay. Moved and second. Any other discussion? What's this got to do with what Blaine wants? Blaine wants that place not to sell. Not necessarily. I, you're gonna mean, have, we, let, let, go I don't want to give a lecture or a seminar on constitutional law. But you're gonna have real <laughs> issues on saying you can't sell it right. in a certain area right. of town. And I mean, there are three levels of scrutiny about discrimination <clears throat> like that. And I'm not sure what level this would fall under, but uh, I, I think you have to have a real good reason to prohibit them from selling right. in any one area of town. Yeah. So it's all or nothing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, any other discussion? Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Those disapprove, no. And that's the first reading. Yeah. We have no Do we have to approve the amendment first or just the word vote the yeah, amendment? You, you, the, amend, I, the way the motion was made, I assume the amendment was included with within the passage on first reading, so. Uh, yeah. Right. Not that same, but thank you. We're gonna do a separate No, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, it's hard to be quiet and leave me It's all part of it. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go through the same thing I just went through with the uh, park <laughs> board. Uh, and I think me and Mark Witz even talked about this in the past. I, I was planning on going ahead and putting out for bid for fencing, asking to put out for bid. But there's a little more to the logistics on this thing that I'd like to make sure of before I just go out here and put out bids on fencing. I've got a size, but I need to, I've also got a little addition to it. Then I've got to get my water exactly right. And then I found out tonight <laughs> that, that we got to make sure it doesn't freeze. And so I, I just want to give you all an update. I don't know how many's been up there, but they tore out all the concrete and they excavated it. And we were going to go ahead and sow grass, but there wasn't any straw available at the time, but there is now. <clears throat> but I just wanted to give you that much of an update and tell you that me and Mark and Bryce and Kelsey are all working on this to get it. And I've told these three because it's on the park board, but mm -hmm. that's, that's the reason. Because I think I might even have mentioned Mark. I thought about it. I going ahead and putting that out for bid, but I didn't want to do it until I got a few more things. Okay. Mark, thank you for a great job taking that thing. It's it's a good job. Work. Looks good. Yeah, it does look real good. Okay. Nine Ridge Road speed bumps. Are we here? Okay. okay. Let me, uh, what this is, Taylor, she got a petition names on it. She lives on Pine Ridge Road. What it is, the bus goes up Tuggers Hill Road, drops the kids off. They got to walk Tuggers Hill Road to Highway 66 and Broadway. Cars are speeding through all the time through the night and daytime out there. And the other days, one of them bank knocked turned over. Law has been out there. They stopped two the other days. 
they can do that. Law has done all they can do. They would like, it's about three tenths of a mile, I've made it my Jeep below. They would like a couple of speed bumps put through on the lower part of it, but not bottom the upper part. It's on the lower part down through on that straightaway down there. They'd like a couple of speed bumps put down through there, maybe try to slow it down. How many have the petition? Yes, sir. How many people in the affected area signed the petition? Almost all of them, but the ones that had not answered the door. Does that mean Pretty almost easy. all of them means 70%, 80%? Uh, I have almost 20 signatures, I think it is. Out of how many? Probably about 30 houses. <clears throat> you know, good job of getting the petition. I just, yeah. you know, just wanted to know. It's, on the part to be affected that straight going up down through there. I know what you're talking about. They mark this and they come out of that curve. From 66 <laughs> into the subdivision. Yes, yeah, well, they, just on that straight. Most of the time, speed as soon as, like, if whenever you turn at the bank, you take that first sharp curve right. over to the other one. That little straightaway right there, I've see probably seen them going between 40 and 60 miles an hour. Wow. And there's tons of children who play in the road. Um, like Bill was saying, the bus drops them off at that hill, at Table Hill, and they walk down morning and evenings. It's just, it's, I mean, I've got hit several cars back near my driveway because mm -hmm. I couldn't see them because they were going so fast. No, I don't know how to go that fast. You've got two or three types of speed bumps. You've got the ones that's real big that you have to go over, and then you've got some that's just a little big ones like on the city school. Mark, what do you rec what do you think would need over there? If you were going to do it, it would need to be the wider speed bump. Like you can't like traffic, traffic, traffic problem. Traffic problem. Is that right? Yes. You got to do speed tables. Table. And table. you guys have a lot of signage out there telling them they're there. To, so forget the bump business. The yeah, speed yeah, bumps are to be yes. up. <clears throat> Well, you have to have a, a lot of signage, and you have to have them not bump. You have to have them. Up. They call them speed table. Table. Yeah. Down. And we end up being liable for damages. Not necessarily on speed table. Speed bumps. Uh, <laughs> pretty much yes. Yeah. <laughs> change no speed tables then. <laughs> But uh, so as long as you have appropriate signage warning them in advance that they're coming up on one. Yeah. Do you need a copy of that, or yeah, we need? You got some people. We keep. Thank you. Uh, I'm telling you, you know, the option to mark one day with the cost of sign. Bill has made a motion. To have a second. Second. We move to second. Now in the discussion. Or if you have to remember those because you start to go up there with snow, you know what that does. <laughs> Hope we don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> any other more any more discussion? <laughs> if not, all in favor say aye. 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 Those disapprove, no. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Taylor. Uh, open bids for law, foul law stability. We'll put one in your Thank you. We had one bid turned in. I'll let Mr. Phillips open it. <laughs> this is bid of uh, <laughs> Hello, RJR Management Inc. So it's license number expiration date and classification on here. Uh, the bid and it tells you what other remove the siding, stack siding, remove all growth and debris within two feet of the building, reinforce the back wall using uh, two and four studs and five and six inch ledger LOK structural fasteners. Cover all openings with one half inch zip board, sheathing or equivalent. Southwest door opening to be hinged with hasp or lock. Scaffolding to be used on the right side of the building will need permission from cemetery. 
gravestone will be covered using two by four lumber and three quarter inch plywood. And, uh, and they're gonna spray for poison ivy, that's extra though. <laughs> <laughs> it's $10,807. Steve, have you looked at this? I, I mean, if you, just got open. I mean, they, they were selling my specs, but I haven't read it. Okay. It says you cover the cemetery. Well, that thing is bumps up against, I mean, actually on the line of the cemetery, mm -hmm. there's, a, there's a gravestone right next to it. I can't lose it in. But you'll have to go around that some way or go over it. In order to work on the real one. I need to put the church. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, the cemetery is pretty. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. 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 Gentlemen, something that has to be done. Yes, it is. Yeah. I'll make a motion to accept the bid. Oh, I'll have to do Steve's looking at it, maybe. Yeah. But I still got to review the stuff. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a second? Second. Moved and second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 So disapprove? No. If it's not in the budget, it's not. It's not. Uh, <laughs> 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 it's not. <laughs> the nails in. Uh, uh, Mark. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you guys got to understand, I've been here a long time. Tell me. Hi, Galeen. Hi. <laughs> yes. Steve. Uh, yes. Right. Uh, okay. So we've still got the same results. <laughs> <laughs> We're all legal now. <laughs> oh, it does have to be legal. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, set budget workshop meeting for water and town. Well, it's that time of year, and uh, I'm working on two budgets right now, so what I'm going to do is, instead of having two separate meetings, the best thing to do is have one workshop, and they have set different times, like the water department at five or six, and then the towns at, you know, 30 minutes later, just to let y'all go over what, you know, we've come up with so far, what they need, and, uh, I need to see it. I wanted, to, and I'm gonna ask you guys because the 30th of May is the date that I kind of come up with. I need a time. That's a Thursday, and we need to do that because we have to do it. Our first, I'm, I don't know if field goes along with this. We're gonna do our first and second reading, and then have the third reading. We we'll have to call a special call before the end of June to do the third reading. And we have to, you have to let me know when that is. It has to be prepared for 14 days in advance. Yeah, that's why. Or we can have one reading and have two or three, you know. I don't see calling two special no, 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 no. And we can do it either way. We just have two readings, one meeting and one, or two, one and then two. You know? And we, we'll do that. But those those will be, you have plenty of time on that because it's not going to be till the end of June because our first ones will be at our next board meeting. Yeah. But we need to have a workshop because we usually have one for you all to have any questions or anything like that. So I want to set the workshop. To me, the 30th probably worked out the best. It may not for you guys. Uh, because I think it will for me. May the 3rd. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Is that okay, Mark? Yeah, bring me a birthday cake. Please. <laughs> <laughs> it's my birthday. Well, well, you want to change it? Everybody's birthday. Your birthday. Your birthday. We, we don't have to do that. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Your birthday. Yeah, let's go ahead and see. Is that all right? Yeah. Is five okay with everybody? Because I know, and we'll say water. We'll do. do I need to break it up. And you so, don't. You can do it all. So okay, we'll just start with the water. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Okay. Bring Laura to the cake. Bring what? You can bring Laura to the birthday cake. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess I could. Well, if I think of it, we might have a few snacks. Right? Hey, don't worry about it. <clears throat> well, that sounds good. If nobody else celebrates it. Today, you know, might as well just go yeah. slide on by. <laughs> just I'll just bring you a little dip. Don't feel here. sorry for me, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was your birthday. I'm sorry. I looked at it. You want a Twinkie and a candle? No. No. That's right. No. 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 No.